Okay, so in this video, we'll cover how to do a VLOOKUP from another Google spreadsheet. So I have this Google spreadsheet that's completely blank and empty. And we have the second one that's on this other tab that has all this information. This is a different spreadsheet, completely different spreadsheet, not just a different tab. So uh, in this spreadsheet, the data is on this Merge Data 2 tab. And we have this information about the different stock items. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some information for us to look up. So I'm going to copy some of this. So stock numbers, paste that in. So now we have some information. So we're going to look up prices. And again, any other things applied. So uh, again, this is not going to be covering basics of VLOOKUP. If you need to learn about basics of VLOOKUP, go watch the first VLOOKUP video and then come back to this one. Okay. So in this one, we'll be covering how to do a VLOOKUP from another spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet that we have is this one. And uh, first we need to do, the first thing we'll have to grab the ID of the spreadsheet. We can get that ID by going on top of our browser window and getting the URL. So if you look at this URL, it goes under spreadsheets, then uh, slash D, then another slash. So we need right after this D slash, and we're going to keep going and grab everything under until the next slash before the slash edit. So that's going to be our spreadsheet ID. I'm going to go ahead and copy this with my control C or command C. And now that I have the spreadsheet ID, the first thing we want to do is uh, give access from this spreadsheet to another spreadsheet so, because initially it's not going to have access to the data. So I'm going to start with equals import range function. And the first thing we need is spreadsheet ID. So the spreadsheet ID is in as a string, so it needs to be in quotes. So quote the ID of the spreadsheet, quote again. I'm going to do comma. And then we need the actual uh, name of our worksheet so it's going to be again as a string so quote so uh, the actual name I believe was called merge data and again because this is several uh, words with spaces we'll have to do single quotes here so merge data two single quotes around the actual name of the worksheet or the tab on the other file and then we'll do exclamation sign and then we do the range that we want so in this case I don't know it was from a2 through something right now I'm just going to do a2 close the codes because right now I just want to get access if you already have access to the other worksheet from this one you didn't have to do the step so I'm gonna go ahead and close the parentheses here and hit enter and now trying to load the data give it some time shouldn't really take that long there it is so now what we're getting it's trying to load the data but it's getting the access error so we'll have to uh, allow access to the information on the other Google spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and click allow access and now we have access to the other spreadsheet data. So now that we have access to other spreadsheet data and we allowed it, I'm going to go ahead and remove everything I just did here. I'll still copy my, although I could have used a lot of this, but I'm going to start over. So I'm going to copy my spreadsheet key at this point. So now that I've copied my spreadsheet key, I'm going to start with my equals V lookup our function. The first thing is my search key. That's going to be this comma. The next thing is the range. This is where the information comes from and that's from the other tab. So this is where I'm going to have to use my import range function and then my spreadsheet key again in quotes. That's going to identify the other worksheet comma. So here we'll have now the worksheet name from the other file. And again, the whole thing needs to be in quotes, but the worksheet name itself needs to be in single quotes because it has multiple words in it. If you have a single like sheet one, you didn't you didn't have to do the single quotes. But right now I have to because I have this merge and that space. Oh, merge data two. 
there it is and that's the worksheet name so then we'll do our exclamation sign and then we'll have to provide the range from a2 through colon d12 i believe it was so i'll close the code for it so that's our import branch function i'm going to go ahead and close my parentheses and then i'm going to go comma and index whichever column the price was i don't remember let's assume it was the third column but we'll go and check and comma and finally is this the data sorted on the other tab no zero so i'll go ahead and close my parentheses hit enter and i got 130 let's go make sure it was actually the third column so one two three yeah it's the third column is the price don't have to update and it was really from a2 through d12 so i got that right from a2 through d12 so basically this 430 item we're looking up on this other tab getting the price for it 130 bucks now an interesting thing about this that you need to know that the first thing don't forget to first get access to it because otherwise this is not going to work and you're going to get an error the second thing about this is that this range that you're providing on the other tab unlike all the other cell references is a string so what that means is that a lot of times uh, uh, when i talk about vlookup function i always say lock the, the range lock the range right in this particular case we don't really need to lock the range because it's text so it's already locked it's not changing like any other cell references Another interesting thing is that sometimes we may want to come back and add some more items here. So if that's the case, what you could do is not use this last argument. So we are saying from start from A2 and go through D12. So instead I'm gonna go D, but I'm not gonna specify which row, and this way it's just gonna get everything else on the table, starting from the D column and all the way down right so this way it should still work as you can see no problem but the advantage of this is that if I decide I'm adding a new item and let's make something easy one 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 hyphen one one hyphen one 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 right so that's our item and the price for this let's make something that we can't miss so nine 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 so ninety nine thousand whatever that is so let's say we want to look up this item so I'm gonna go here so it was 1111-11-111. Hit enter and it works. I don't have to update anything. So that's your VLOOKUP from another spreadsheet. So you'll have to use import range function for this and VLOOKUP as we usually do. And that's it for this video. Hopefully that was useful for you.